I was a stay-at-home mom for about 10 years, and then this last year I just started working at Swamp Rabbit. From stay-at-home mom to mothering another project. Just me, do the cutting and ironing and pinning and washing and uh, I also bake all the masks to get them up to a temperature that will kill any viruses. Carol Hart has a heart for making masks for kids, adults, presidents, using whatever's around the house. Carol tells me she's donated more than 500 of these masks to local schools, restaurants and businesses, even giving back to where she works here at the Swamp Rabbit Cafe. Supporting local businesses with her money and her masks. My great grandma taught me how to sew when I was three. Jennifer Brock has kept sewing in the family. Her hobby now full time work to help frontline health care workers. Some people from the blood connection got them hospice, nursing homes and business owners like Michael Beccaro find relief from the daily grind. We want our customers to feel confident so we can do our part in sanitizing and cleaning and making sure that we're following protocol. Uh, but again, if customers feel comfortable wearing the mask, and we're happy to, to provide those for free. I can't see charging people in order for them to feel safe. I don't feel like now is the right time to profit off of people's fears. Literally is just scraps sitting in my closet, so I'm happy that it can be of some use to somebody and that people feel safer. Both Carol and Jennifer, mothers on a mission, using what they have to help others. And this is a mask when it's finished. Joe Ripley, WYFF News 4, Greenville County.